Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hard Park 703 channel. I literally just finished making a video for you guys in my, I was about to say my reality, but I'm gonna sound like Dr. Strange. But in my reality, it was like only an hour ago, but I guess to you guys, it'll be a few days ago. Um, but yeah, so this is a totally different video. It's, uh, I bought something for the car. Um, as soon as I wrecked the car, I took the opportunity to order a new updated part. So let me show it to you. Um, I'm really excited for it. Um, I need something to take my mind off of the fact that I did damage the vehicle. So the more parts I keep buying for the car and the more I keep doing with it, it'll be new thoughts. And then the accident will be like 10 memories in. And then that way I won't think about it so much. All right. So, um, purchased something from San Diego designs. Um, you know, I've already bought stuff from, uh, this person before and the, uh, product and, uh, quality. It's just, it's amazing. So anyways, what it is, is, um, remember those door dogs that I got for the door, <laughs> um, like the door handles. Well, these are the newly updated ones. Um, the other ones were a different shape. So let me pull these out and I'll show it to you. Okay. So here we go. Um, so this is it. Um, I guess this is the passenger side one. Um, yeah, cause this part bolts on the inside of the door and then this is the little paddle that you would use to open, see, like it gives. So obviously, you know, pull on it here and then open the door and then you use it to close. Anyways, um, this just in my hand feels so much better than, uh, his, I say his, once again, I don't know if it's a he or she that owns San Diego Designs, but the person, um, who created it, um, these used to be just plastic. And so they, they felt good. It's just, they would give a little bit. These, um, feel metal. Um, so nice, nice weight to it and, uh, just more solid. So I think, I think that's fantastic. And best part, this comes already fully, oh God, already, did I break it? <laughs> um, comes fully assembled. The other ones I had to assemble. So this should, uh, speed up the process. Um, came with this. I have no idea what it is. It looks like it's 3D printed, probably something extremely useful. Um, we'll see, um, more stuff that I don't remember what it's for. Anyways, I just got to go through the instructions, but all right, we're going to get to it. I'm going to try to put this on while there's still some sunlight left out here. Um, okay. So looking at the instructions, I remember now how easy it was to do this. Um, it's literally like, I just got to unscrew two things or whatever. And then, um, just got to basically plug and play with the door, but check this out. Okay. So, um, now San Diego designs even threw in the carbon flash color for your, um, paddles. So before it used to be just like flat black, um, glossy black or the carbon fiber, which the carbon fiber I was in love with because the carbon, it, that is a legit pattern. That pattern is sexy right there. That is perfection. Like that literally is the same carbon fiber as on my, uh, seats and as on my uh, steering wheel. So I'm, I'm at a crossroads right now because I literally want to put this back on, but this looks so good. That is the exact same color as my side skirts, my wing, uh, well, trunk spoiler, whatever you want to call it, um, and then the front lip and everything. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. All right. That was a little bit of an outburst right there, but um, okay. So uh, I'm going to get outside. I'm going to put the passenger side on, and uh, then we're going to do the um, driver side, which is the exact same thing. So, I mean, there's no point in, I don't think, filming both sides, but all right, let's get to it. All right. Sorry for that background noise. Um, that was my cleaning lady. Um, she does a fabulous job. I love her to death. But um, yeah, that's what that uh, whistling was. It was the vacuum. All right, you guys. So like, remember the, this is the, this is what I'm talking about, obviously. That's the door dog. So just hits the button that is right on the inside that you would normally push. I got them because I just didn't want to put fingerprints on the outside of the door. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna replace this real quick. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna unbolt this and I'm just gonna throw it right back on. Okay, so this was the original button. This is all you were literally pushing to open the Corvette door. Um, and then now I, I'm gonna put this right here, which, okay, I need to put this down for a second, hold on. Okay, so when you push, this paddle, it pushes this towards the camera. So point being, like when you're, uh, okay, this is hard to do, also, but like when you push the paddle, you see how, you see that, you see? Like that pushes up against the button and then it unlocks the door. But anyways, um, okay, so this was the piece, this piece right here is what I was confused about. Um, it looked like a 3D printed piece and I was like, all right, what's this for? But I'll show you. Okay. So if I put this piece on without that little plastic piece that I just showed you, when you unlock the door, you'll probably hear it right here in the video. 
Okay, it comes really close to the door. So, so that's, I mean, it, it's gonna work. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hit the door or anything, but that's pretty close to it. If you don't want it that close, then that little plastic piece, it, um, it creates a little bit of a, like an, it's an extension. So it, it, it brings it a little bit further out. I'll show you. Okay. So here's the, here's the plastic piece, right? Okay. So now I'm just going to put plastic piece on and then you can kind of like snap it into place. Yes. This is really hard to do with one hand, but yeah. So, okay. So let's say it's on there. I don't know if it's like fully on, but whatever. All right. Let's say we put it on now. Right. Okay. So now there's a little bit of a gap. Like obviously you'll tighten it down, then there won't be a actual gap, but I'm just saying it gives you an extension. So now when you push the door, you have a little bit more room to play with. So, sorry, I put my finger there in the way. Um, but yeah, so that just gives me um, peace of mind that I'm not gonna, you know, like scrape the door by accident or anything. So I think I'm probably just gonna use this um, instead of not using the extension. Okay, so um, so one, obviously this thing, if, if I wasn't making this video, this would literally be probably two minutes for each door because it's just these two screws. So if you already had the previous door dogs, this is just the upgrade. Um, so a lot of the stuff was already done and um, everything was like already assembled and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. So that is out of the equation and stuff like that. So it just, this just makes things so much simpler. So it's just one and two and that's it. Like, so boom, that's on. Okay, so here's the other thing. Um, uh, okay, so before the other, the other, why don't I just show it to you? I, here. Okay, so like when I was closing the door, I noticed it was really, really close to back here. And so I was like, no way, there's no way that uh, I can't adjust this or whatever. And then obviously I just looked at, I remember on the, uh, on this old one or whatever, the, these screws right here, these two um, uh, Phillips screws, that allows you to be able to tilt it you know, back and forth or shift it further out or, or make it more recessed. And so I now have it very flush with the door, probably a little further out. I mean, I could, I can tilt it a little bit better, um, but here, let me shut the door and then I'll show you guys now. It, see, so now it clears perfectly. Um, sorry, the car's dirty. I obviously have to wash, I haven't washed it in like two months, but yeah, so now it's, and it's, I mean, it's flush, man. It's it's flush. I'll play with it, but I just wanted to show you. All right, so just applied the uh, carbon flash on there. What do you think? Actually, it looks pretty good on there. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty close to it's pretty close to that. You see how like it's got the like, little flakes in it, obviously. Um, uh, and this is dirty, so it's a little bit duller because it's got like a haze of dust on it. But I mean, it's it's pretty close, you know. Um, it, it it looks great. Trust me. Like the video doesn't do it justice. It it matches. The vehicle. I don't even know why I showed you the wing. I should have just like showed you right up here. Um, but it's 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 pretty darn close. That that looks that looks beautiful. Now let me show you the difference between how this one looks here, and let me show you the other side. So you see, so this is the other one. So I mean, yeah, the lines on the uh, on the top and the bottom, yeah, I mean they line up and everything. But obviously this whole opening, like this is it doesn't match too well. So now the other side, um, the new design from San Diego Designs looks. Uh, amazing.